morning guys, it's Captain Noob here again today with the uh, Incendiary Incendiary Plasma Thrower. Now since this weapon is incendiary, instead of firing the usual um, stream of plasma like a flammer, it will just fire incendiary bullets. Doing pretty good damage and it looks like it can also um, disintegrate enemies which is pretty cool. So it's got the same base damage as the regular flamer, so it should be doing pretty well. It won't be held back by its low um, bullet damage by the incendiary effect, like other weapons. Looks like we've drawn quite powerful guns for the gunners to spawn with, so they have put us in a nerd rage here. But it should be okay, just need to play it a little bit more cautious. Another great thing about this is it's got a huge ammo capacity with 303 bullets, which is a lot. Alright, we're back into hidden. We can regenerate a little bit. We'll try and get a VATS chain going on here. I might have to crit the first three. Actually, no, we'll try that again. Make sure we've got enough bullets for, to kill every single one of the gunners that are right here. Oh boy. There's a lot. Alright, so a good start on the chain. After I crit all the turrets, um, gun crew will have us crit automatically as the fourth target and beyond is automatically critical. Did well there. Now on to the gunners. Disintegrated him. Doing quite well against these gunners indeed. Taking a lot of fire though, but that's um, defense will help us out here. Absolutely destroying them with critical damage. Last one. Excellent job there. So we turn around and... Oh, okay, we're really close to death, so we'll... Disarmed him, that's another good thing about having this as a pistol. The gunslinger will give you a chance to disarm. So you can easily take the enemy's weapon out of their hands before they even shoot you, if they've got a deadly weapon. Huge amount of goo piles here from all the critical damage kills. Hopefully we can get a stagger in or something. That she goes for the gun bash, which is significantly less damaging than her shooting, so that was her own fault. We'll reload it again, come around the corner. Crit him through the wall. There's a regular gunner down there, don't think we need to worry about him, so we just take him out by shooting him normally. Wanna make sure we don't take any extra damage so we'll be disarming these guys or attempting to before we kill them. That staggered him so he should be just about dead. That's him gulified. Now onto these last turrets. Excellent. So there you go. A really pleasant surprise for me. I didn't expect this weapon to perform so well but there you go. So, reasonably good against mobbing, let's see how we go against the bosses. Alright, so here we are, about to take on big ol' swan. Not sure how uh, this weapon will perform in this scenario, but if it does underperform, we can make a few changes to it to make sure we win. So let's get into it. Probably want to back off first off. A little bit hesitant to throw that rock today. Seem to be slowing him down a fair amount. Okay, here he comes. Okay, so not doing the damage that I probably need to do at this point to be able to kill him quickly, so it might be a long drawn out conflict. I'm going out of danger. And back in it. Ok, 
Okay, so even with this setup, it's not doing enough damage to him. He's just going to be able to tank that all day. That will do the best we can. We'll do a few crits on him just to see how that works. Seems to be doing a better job, but it's nothing too spectacular at this point. Get plenty of shots and vats with the reflex scope and the pistol grip, so that's very good. Yeah, he manages to get a hit then right after vats cancelled, which isn't a good thing for us. But if he's just keen to stand there. Come on, Swan, you gotta do something here. No? He's gonna take it? He's just going to give up. It's one. Come on. There we go. So I think I've found a glitch spot or something because for some reason he's not moving. Let's stop exploiting Fallout 4's terrible pathing and move around. So wearing him down just slowly, it's going to take a while doing this, we might actually run out of ammo before we're able to do it, which would be bad. That hurt. We'll get in as much of that damage as we possibly can. Building up some more critical hits, although they're probably not entirely needed, seeing as we're doing alright with the regular hits. Oh, of course he does that hammer drop as soon as we're out of that. Oh, well, we can do a little bit more damage this way. Just getting him down a little bit quicker. Got to move out of the way of that rock. Only narrowly missed that one. So we're in a heap of trouble here. But if we're out of his range, we can certainly do a heap of damage to him before he gets close enough to do another anchor drop. It's possible for him to miss the rock throws out here. He's not completely accurate with them, but. Bloody hell, they make him rarely miss. Hopefully that's defense will protect us against that boulder. It hit us, you can tell from that. So there he goes. While this weapon doesn't have the furious effect to back it up, you can still kill Swan given time. But we should try and crank this weapon to 11 and try it with furious. So let's try that out. I'd imagine having one of the incendiary effects duplicated would do absolutely nothing because of the um, bullets already being changed by the original incendiary effect put on, so this would probably be a much better use of this weapon overall. So as you can see now we're doing a heap, a heap less of damage. We could finish him off in this VATS run very easily. And down he goes, so that was probably, what, under 30 seconds? So yeah, that was pretty overpowered, but that's the effect of Furious with something like a flamethrower that actually shoots projectiles. It's pretty crazy, but we love mods because we can break the game like that. That's about enough for this weapon, I think you get the idea. Thanks for watching, guys.